Well, hello everybody. Let's see, I'm out again today. And uh, I ventured out to another location, which I frequent probably once a year. I'm going down to the, uh, the James River uh, here in, in Virginia. And uh, like I said, it's a location I generally visit maybe once a year. And uh, there is a, uh, you have a couple historic landmarks here that, uh, that I like to photograph. And of course, each time I come here, I try and get a slightly different composition. And uh, hopefully I can get something that's, uh, that outdoes the, the last image that, uh, that I took previously. So I'm going to head down now and see exactly what I can come up with. And uh, hopefully it'll be something, uh, something worth writing home about. Okay, I worked my way down to the uh, the base of the river and hopefully I should be at my first destination shortly and it's a, it's a pretty popular uh, popular destination to uh, for photographers so I'm going to take my shot again at it today Let's see, I've made it to my, my first location, uh, right here on the James River. I'm sitting literally right at the very base of the river. Uh, I hope to get some decent shots today. Uh, we've got some nice clouds in the sky. Uh, the sun, it's a partly cloudy day today, so the sun is kind of moving in and out. So we're getting periods of light and some periods of shadows. Uh, basically a lot of contrast, a lot of variation in the atmosphere. And uh, usually that can yield some pretty good results uh, if you're just patient and you just wait. I'm going to show you the view that I have right now from, uh, from where I'm sitting. And uh, my first shot is going to take place right here. All right. And this is the view I have right now from where I'm sitting. And as I said, I've shot this particular uh, seen a number of times before and I'm hoping I can uh, get another shot today that's uh, that's considerably different than what I've gotten in the past all right as you can see it's pretty overcast right now uh, but I'm gonna take uh, I have everything set up and here is my first shot now what I'm going to do with this first shot is because of the weather, I'd like to bring in good exposure uh, in the entire scene. Now, as you can see, the sky is much brighter than everything else. So that's going to present a problem with the exposure. Now, uh, because of the wide dynamic range. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make an exposure for the sky and uh, make sure the sky is well exposed. And by doing that, it's going to bring in good detail in the sky. Now, the second shot, will be for the foreground itself, the bridge and, uh, and the like. And that will be the second shot. Now, I'd like to bring detail in, into the water. Actually, not detail. I, I'd like to smooth out the water, give it a nice silky smooth appearance. So what I'm going to do with the third shot is use a longer shutter speed to smooth out the water. And then later on, when it's all complete, I will blend all three images uh, together later in Photoshop for one image. All right, let's get started with the first image. All right, if you take a look here, you can see how bright the sky is. So my first move here 
is to underexpose it. And as you can see, that's bringing in the, that's bringing nice detail in the sky itself. And this is going to be my first shot. And this shot is going to be 1 30th of a second. Okay. Now the second shot is going to be for the foreground. And of course, if you look, you can see the bridge and everything in the foreground is pretty well exposed. Now the rocks here are a bit in the shadows, but that's really not much of an issue. Uh, that, can be, uh, that can be fixed in post. All right, so here is going to be the second exposure. This is going to be one third of a second at f-stop 11. All right, now there's shot number two. Now, and now here's shot number three. Now what I want here is a longer exposure. So what I'm going to do now is put on a neutral density filter. And the neutral density filter will allow me to get a lot further in. I'm sorry, it will increase the, uh, the exposure time to smooth out the water so it takes on a nice silky smooth appearance. So I'm going to put the neutral density filter on now. All right, now the neutral density filter is on. Now, right now, it's giving me about, uh, about 15 seconds. I don't want 15 seconds. So, let's, uh, let's bring that down just a bit. We're down to about 10 seconds. And I can do a little better than that. I'll stay at about f-stop 8. And let's go with about 8 seconds on this. All right. And right now I'm going to focus for the water. All right. This will be the third and final exposure for this scene. All right. And that's pretty much what I want. All right. Well, that's one shot in the bag. And I think I will move on to the next shot. my next composition all set up. Now I like to refer to this particular shot as keeping it all in the family. Uh, what I like to do often is if I take a photograph in one particular area, rather than automatically packing up and then wa wandering off to try and find something else, what I like to do is try and find something in the immediate area where I just took the last shot. Because in many cases it's just a matter of rearranging your composition and you have an entirely different shot altogether. Now, as you can see, the bridge is still here behind me, but what I've done is I've changed my composition and moved everything over to the right. Now, if you look here, this huge, these huge boulders that are here in the water. Now, if you look to the, uh, to the left, you'll see a tree here it's actually arching over out of the water and back in. And if you look over to the, to the right, you'll see that there's a, a, a piece of tree that's protruding from the water in front of the rocks. Now, this is what my shot is going to be composed of. And also, if you look right behind the large boulder, you'll see boulders and the remnants of trees lying there. 
Now, this is going to be my shot. You're not going to see the bridge at all in this particular shot at all. And this is what I call kind of keeping it in the family. And uh, you save a lot of time and you'll have an entirely different shot. All right, so I'm going to get started with the first shot here. All right, I'm going to I'm going to focus for the sky in the background. All right, I'm going to focus. All right. And now I'm going to intentionally underexpose the shot. And now you can see the detail coming in in the sky. All right, that's what I want. All right, this is one eighth of a second at f-stop 13. And I'm gonna take that shot right now. Okay. Now the next shot is going to be for the foreground. I'm gonna focus for the tip of the rock right here, right where it begins to meet with the water. And this is going to be my next focusing point. Right about there. Okay. Now, I've got a, a shot of about uh, about one half a second and that's what uh, that's what my goal is because what, right now what I'd like to do is get some motion in the water and with the longer shutter speed it will give you just that it will give the water a sense of motion and smooth out the water a bit so here we are and this is at f-stop 13 and there we have it We have this nice motion, sense of motion in the water. And if we go back to the previous shot, you can see how nice and rich the background is. And I will blend these two images together later on in Photoshop. Now, what I may do right now, actually, this is good. I really don't think I need to do any more. So at this point, I'm going to call that a shot. I think I found my final composition. If you look, you can see this tree that's right here. And this is the one that I was talking about earlier, where it looks like it's actually, uh, it's on a little, uh, a little small island. And it's actually uh, just a lone tree actually coming up out of the water. And we can see that uh, the light is also taking off in the background. And we've got some nice clouds here. And uh, of course, the technique that I'm going to use again, I'm going to intentionally underexpose the background just a little bit to bring out some of the detail in the clouds, though the, they actually look pretty good right now. And uh, then I'll take one more shot and just increase the exposure just slightly uh, for the tree. And uh, I will uh, blend those together and do a little bit of editing later in Photoshop to uh, to maximize that balance between the background and the foreground. All right, let me show you the uh, composition that I have set up. If you look at the composition I have set up here, I think it's halfway decent. Uh, tree, obviously, just off to the left just a little bit. And then the uh, little small island is actually taking up about, uh, about two thirds of the image on the right just to try and create a little bit of uh, a little bit of balance here and uh, this is going to be the first shot but I'm actually focused for the background well actually I will uh, focus for the background right now and all right the focusing point is right here on the background so I'll focus there 
All right. And it's one eighth of the section, second at F stop 13. And I will actually underexpose the background just slightly. And that's a 15th of a second now at F stop 13. And here's exposure number one. Okay. And now I will take one more shot. And just to give the foreground, just give it just a little bit more exposure in the foreground. To bring out more detail on the tree. And now we're at uh, one eighth of a second at F stop 13. And I will take the next shot. All right. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And uh, as of right now, that's three shots in the bag. I think that'll do it for this video. And uh, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to comment, like, and please subscribe. All right, until next time.